Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing. This is Godzilla, and welcome to Barber Shop. I hope you don't mind, but I invited a guest to join us. You know Godzilla. I open a lot of these videos saying this kind of thing, but I've been a big fan for years. I really love it when you fight Mecha Godzilla and King Ghidorah, but it's got to be rough on you. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to carry this bit on any longer than I have to. You're, you're welcome. Uh, but I actually brought this guy home for a reason. Uh, I thought my daughter would like him, and she did. And my son, now he's only two and doesn't really know Godzilla is not just a regular dino, but he loves the guy too. When I was a kid, I fell into Godzilla. The goofy fun of the old movies was so appealing, seeing the big guy defending Tokyo against his bizarre rogues gallery. I mean, I took the monsters and the mythology of it all seriously, the way kids do, but it was always a rollicking good time. Godzilla is one of those characters that can be so potent a concept that can stretch in so many directions while still remaining true to its core. Well, Godzilla returns to IDW Publishing with all new stories starting this week, starting with Godzilla Monsters and Protectors Number 1, written by Eric Burnham, drawn by Dan Schoening, colored by Luis Antonio Delgado, the team supreme that brought you the acclaimed continuing adventures of the Ghostbusters for years. And the thing that sets this comic apart from what we've done before, from what most Godzilla comics have done, is that this series is perfect for that kid who's into Godzilla, or who's just getting into Godzilla, whether inspired by movies, new or old, or by toys, or just the way Godzilla exists in the cultural ether of planet Earth. Monsters and Protectors follows Cedric Nishimura, a young kid whose videos on social media. His mom's from Hawaii, his dad's from Japan, and he's studying in an American school in Tokyo when an experimental new power plant comes online and Godzilla strikes. It's been years since the last Godzilla sighting, and nobody knows for sure why Godzilla's back, but he's attacking, and, God and Cedric and his friends, Emily and Anderson, think they know the answer. Or anyway, they think they know the right question to ask. What if Godzilla is part of the Earth's immune system, showing up when something bad strikes the planet? Eh? Well, so begins Cedric's journey towards saving the world. That's not a spoiler. Cedric tells us he saved the world right there on page one, but how? And but what does that even mean? We'll have to come back next month to find out. I said this is perfect for kids, but I loved it too. It hit me in that same place Godzilla hit me when I was a kid. Big monster action. Mythology that's intriguing, but not intimidating, with that crisp, fun writing Eric Burnham's known for on titles like Transformers Beast Wars. And the amazing art team of Shonen and Delgado outdo themselves. Between Eric, Dan, and Luis, they cast these characters with such a specificity. Cedric is more than the sum of his parts, and even in a story centered on a giant monster stomping around Japan, we learn details about Cedric through the way he interacts with his friends, and especially with his online audience. There are so many well-considered and thought-out details. Like, I was poring over page one, thinking, why does this eighth grader have a CRT TV in his room? Then I looked close, and the art gave me the answer. I'll let you figure it out, but it's a reminder. These characters aren't stock characters. They're not generic kid number seven. Cedric's as idiosyncratic as every one of us was in eighth grade, not some approximation of what a middle schooler is like. I don't know why that was such a focus for me, but it fed into my enjoyment of the story as a whole. It helped ground the whole thing. I mean, ground the characters. There's no grounding the big guy. Godzilla is wild and on the loose. And what he's chasing is, at least after one issue, anybody's guess. Godzilla, Monsters and Protectors number one from IDW and our great friends at Toho is lettered by Nate Wittick, edited by Tom Waltz and Megan Brown, and is on sale now. So visit the IDW website or your local comic book store and check it out. And while you're getting the main cover by Dan Schoening, don't miss the B cover with the classic Godzilla movie still if, like me, you really want to mix childhood memories with all new, all ages, all Godzilla action. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.